Ran out of gas. No, I mean, it was 104, 101, and they hit three huge deep threes. I think mean, that was a game when it was 101, 104. I think Covington hit that deep one at like the hash. Then Ben McLemore hit two tough ones. That's a backbreaker, no matter if you flew six hour flight or not. You know what I'm saying? You got to get him credit for knocking those shots down and knocking them down with confidence. And it felt like every we have seven points coming out the half. Uh, after the first quarter, we come back to the bench and we feel confident because they got most of their points was free throws from us making bad fouls, you know. So coming into the half, I felt like we could have been up 12 or 15, but it's just like any other game, if it's not one thing, it's something else for us, you know. So we fouled so much that they were 18, I'm going to say 15, what, what did they shoot? At the half, at the end of the first quarter. In the first quarter. Like we put ourselves in a hole doing that. You know, so they get them confidence. The game slow down. They get to, you know, kind of dictate the pace when they playing like that. You know what I'm saying? So we were, we were at their mercy when we just reach in and foul. But then in the second quarter, we were more aggressive and we controlled the game and we got up. We put up 36 points. You know, so second half, they hit threes in that third quarter. They hit threes in that fourth quarter. You got to get them credit for knocking down shots. But I thought we were there. Our intentions were good. We got to just finish it a little better finish plays a little better, get up into the ball a little bit more. We don't have nothing. A few of those threes felt like they was bailouts and they just happened to make them, you know what I'm saying? So it's a subtleties in the game that, you know, um, went in their way, in their favor, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, the timely shots that they made was able to, it was backbreaker. So, you know, it was a good win for them. You do have, though, I mean, this is whatever, four and five. You guys are covering like 4,800 miles. Who cares? It's a part of the game. Like, it's a part of who we are. We've been in the league. Like, we got young dudes. Who cares? They're supposed to go get up to play. You know, you, you, they throw shit at you. You got to figure out how to work around it. And we still had an opportunity to win this game, you know? So, who cares? Like, that, that's what championship teams go through is a little adversity. They play little games within the season that you, you know, to help you get better. It's an opportunity for us to do the same thing. So, I'm not making no excuses about no flights or our schedule. Everybody's schedule fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So, but the game, let's talk about the game. You know, like I said, they made timely shots. They got, um, you know, like I we up seven points. They hit threes. I mean, they felt confident in that fourth quarter knocking down shots. So that's why we lost. Who's your point? But obviously, played plus 40 minutes the last couple nights. Played a lot of minutes so far this year. Steve said he's going to look for a night somewhere to get you a night off. Are you concerned at all about the workload that you put in so far today? No. Let me die out there. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> I know I'm not concerned, but whenever the coach um, want to give me a day, then, you know, I'll support it, but I'm not looking for one. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to just play until they tell me that. I'm sitting up, you know, but that's not on my mind when I'm playing. That's not on my mind when I'm going into a game, preparing for a game. It is what it is. I got to play 40. I got to play, so what? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to play, but if they tell me to sit out, I'm going to do the same thing. And that being said, I was going to say, that being said, then you've got, I mean, you know where you are in the standings, you know where Chicago is in the standings, I and mean, you're going in there. What If it wasn't fatigue at the end of this game, I mean, the defense clearly has taken – hit last whatever two weeks i mean what is in your mind then the keys that you guys have to get right before you go and play ball? yeah we gotta lock in um, just be better i mean sure you want me to give you like the details of how to stop the board there's certain parts of that defense that could be yeah. giving you more problems so yeah i mean they i think tonight i think in the pick and roll um early in the game like i said they went down to the post and got Nick in some foul trouble early at three fouls in the first quarter. That slowed the game down for him. They got in the bonus with nine minutes to go in the first quarter. That's never what you want as a team. You know what I'm saying? So we know that's going to be, they're going to put the same type of pressure on us in Chicago. So we got to play disciplined basketball without fouling, helping each other out, rebound, getting out and running. So you know, we can't, we can't um, shoot ourselves in the foot with little stuff like that, reaching down, uh, you know, just fouling guys on jump shots, you know, so we got to be a little bit more disciplined in that area. It would be all right. Yeah, last, last question. 
talking about the big shots, like it seems like you that you guys didn't go away from anything in the second half of that. As you said, you know, when they needed to deliver, they did, and that's what made life hard on you guys. Yeah, I would say that. Uh, like I, but it just made timely shots. Magnamore made some timely threes. Like we can't, we got a dunk to come out the third quarter. They playing some zone, and we were able to get an easy dunk. Then he coming off a a, 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 um, a little wrap in the corner, a little pin down there in the corner. And he had a tough one over a hand. It's like, like I said, teams play us and those shots, you know, with, with no pressure because coming in feeling like they should win the game. You know what I'm saying? So they be a little bit more confident when they make shots early. They get a little lead early. So, you know, dudes got pride too. You know, got to give them credit. But like I said, I felt like they made timely plays all night. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> yeah,